Hi guys, so welcome back here at DEC Engineering Tutorials. So in our previous uh, discussion, uh, we analyze a determinate truss using shear and moment diagram. So bali yung problem don is i-determine natin lahat ng bar forces sa given na prat truss na to. And then with vertical loads as uh, loaded as shown, no? So, yung shear shear and bending moment diagram is uh, maganda siyang method if you want to compute for all member forces no? dun sa truss natin. Pero kung isang member lang din yung kukunin mo or mga tatlong member lang, so mas magandang gamitin yung method of section or method of joints. No? Kasi direct sila eh kung ano yung gusto mong kunin. So, on all members, so mas makaka-save ka ng time if you use the shear and moment diagram na tricks na tuturo ko ngayon na okay. So, bali yung ginawa natin is kinumpute natin yung support reaction and then we draw the uh, shear and moment diagram and then we compute for the forces on the top cord using the shear and moment diagram and then we compute for the forces on the bottom cord using the shear and moment diagram and then we summarize all the forces and then we compute for the uh, members uh, near support using the method of joints so ito sa dalawa na so we just use the formula uh, we have a reaction divided by the sign of its inclination na, for the uh, top core dito So, ganun din dito sa kabila. So, ngayon is for continuation, susold natin yung mga diagonal forces na yan using uh, shear and moment diagram. Okay, so at page, so base ko lang yung shear and moment diagram natin and then we compute for the diagonal forces diagonal forces Okay, so kung mapansin mo dito, tanggalin ko muna to. Hindi na natin kailangan. Okay, so tanggalin ko lang 'yan. Saglit. So Bali, ang gagawin natin is uh, so Okay, so kung mapansin mo dito, uh, yung mga vertical component ng mga diagonal forces na yan is equivalent ng shear diagram natin. Ha? So, for example, dito sa 110. So, bali yung vertical component nito is meron siyang 110. So, dito din. So, yung, yung member na yan, meron siyang vertical component na 80. Okay, so, we have 80. So, yan yung vertical loading niya. So, dito meron tayong 20, no? So, we have 20. So, yung vertical component nung, mem nung bar for CD is 20. So, dito meron tayong 40, no? So, we have uh, 40. And then, We have seventy, and then we have one hundred. Okay, so so masol na natin yung mga uh, yung mga member forces dito na. So since uh, the same lang naman yung mga angle nila kasi meron tayong 3 meters tsaka 4 meters na. 
So So bali dito meron tayong uh, So bali for force if you want to compute for force AB so it's just 110 over sine of D yung angle theta na so lahat yan the same angle na so sin theta yung theta na na-compute natin uh, dito na-compute na natin yan that is uh, 53.13 so 53.13 so we have 53.13 and then if you want to compute for for CB so again yung ito lang yung vertical component nya divided by sine of uh, 53.13 uh, diagonal uh, DC so again yung vertical component nya lang we have 20 all over sine of 53.13 and then we have force uh, DE so yung vertical component nito Remember DE, we have 40 over sine uh, 53.13. So, force EF, we have uh, vertical component nya len. Uh, again, we have 70. So, 70 divided by sine of 53.13. So, we have 70 over sine of 53.13. And then, if you want to find out for, uh, remember, GF. GF. So, again, we have the vertical component nya. We have uh, 100 over sine of 53.13. Okay. So, uh, input lang natin yan sa calculator natin. So, calc. I have 110. So, this is 137.5. Kilo Newton, uh, calc 80. So this is uh, 100 kilo Newton. Then calc uh, 20. So this is uh, 25 kilo Newton. Then calc 40. So therefore this is 50 kilo Newton. And then uh, calc 70. So this is uh, 87.5 kilo newton. And then calc uh, we have uh, 100 over sine 53.13 so we have 125 kilo newton. So uh, isulat na lang natin lahat yan dito. So meron tayong 100 kilo newton dito we have 25 kilonewton dito so we have 25 kilonewton dito sa kabilang side we have 50 kilonewton we have uh, 87.5 kilonewton and then we have 125 kilonewton so na solve na natin yung uh, diagonal forces so next is the vertical forces Okay, so Okay, so sa vertical forces uh, Madali na lang siyang tignan ha? So if we consider joint B So by summation of forces Vertical So eh, Ibig sabihin this is also 30 yeah, By summation of forces vertical uh, Considering joint B na? Kasi Yung member na to is collinear na? So bali in uh, by summation of forces X sila lang din yan uh, dito din sa kabila by summation of forces vertical so meron din tayo ditong 30 and then dito naman so this is under uh, zero force member kasi yung dalawang members nya collinear yung isa De, no? then wala tayong in-apply na load so automatic this is a zero force member ok 
Okay, so yung kulang na lang natin dito is yung mga members na to. Tsaka yung members na to. No? So yan na lang yung kulang natin. No? Di, wala pa tayong value. So, uh, para masolve natin yan, yung gagawin lang natin is uh, balik tayo ulit sa atong shear and moment diagram. So, magka-cut lang tayo dito. No? So, yung concern natin is marinising ko muna ito. So, ito na lang yung kulang. Tsaka, ito na. So, yung gagawin lang natin is, kung titignan mo, kung ikakat natin to, yung dito, let's say, if we cut this one, to this one, and then we take uh, summation of forces, uh, vertical, na submission of forces vertical. So, parang kinumpute lang din natin yung uh, 110 minus 30 minus 60. So, alam natin that is uh, 20, na. So, ibig sabihin, yung load dito is 20. And then, ganun din dito sa kabila, na. So, if we cut that one, that one, and then we take the forces here, so, parang ano lang din yan, no? By summation of forces, y. So, parang kinumpute mo lang din to. 100 minus 30 minus 60 minus 60 minus 30. So, a total of yung shear niya dyan. At this part, we have uh, 40. So, we have 40. So, that is a negative. So, Bali yung assumption niya. So, ganyan na, no? So, we have 40. So, all in all, meron na tayong uh, 20 dito. Tsaka uh, 40 dito. Okay? So, nakuha na natin lahat nung uh, loads nya ok so using an android app so this this is SW Trust uh, nilagay ko lang yung minodel ko lang yung Trust and then uh, ito yung nakuha kong mga values so which is the same dun sa uh, na compute natin no? we have uh, 82.5 82.5 142.5 and so on and so forth so meron tayong 25 100 so meron tayong dito 20 kanina lang so yun dito 40 na and then we have 50 so the same value dun sa nakuha natin okay so sa so next na video is uh, paano siya i-model dito sa android app no Okay, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video.